What's up, dudes? My name is Nick. Welcome back for another album review. It's been a little while since the last one of these that I've done, but I figure, you know, might as well be a good time to get into it once again with another, you know, review. Taking a look at this at the album 7 of 7 from Got7. So this is an album that is directly following the completion, I believe, unless I'm missing something that happened in between, which is definitely possible. Of the of the whole flight log series of of albums, and that's awesome. The significant thing about this album, of course, or though, is that unlike I think some of their other albums, that this is one of the ones that, or this is the first album, the first promo song, whatever that members actually had a part in the production. Actually, you know, got down. They were in the studio. They wrote some music. They wrote some lyrics, and they get some production credits for the songs, which is always good um i personally think that the flight log series of albums was but was you know obviously or not obviously but you know for me um very much the top three albums that got seven have released in terms of you know like the, the music like how much i enjoyed the music how interesting they were to listen to you know just in general the quality of those albums was very very good for got seven so now the question is 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 this is seven of seven an album that's going to meet those expectations or or you know kind of meet the the, the compete on the standards or is it going to be something that's you know kind of a little lukewarm a little average or not so great you know it, it, it's it's completely up in the air of course but that's why I got this video here and that's why we're going to talk about it so let's get started first off with talking about the promotion song titled you are I think it's track number three on this album and the reason we're going to start here is because this is the reason that people who are not necessarily fans of GOT7 are going to, or this is going to be the, re, the the song that gives people the reason to listen to this album if they're not exactly fans of GOT7. So this is a song that will sell fan, non-fans on the album. And does it do a, does it do a good job? Does it do a bad job? It's kind of the question that I want to answer with this. And, you know, ultimately... I don't think that it does an exceptionally great job, but it doesn't do a bad job either. Um, overall, the song is just a super easy, um, you know, mellow sort of song. It's not like super crazy high energy. It's not super low energy. It's just, you know, you know, kind of average on that scale. Um, so it's a really easy, like, re- easy to listen to song. It's very, very well, somewhat relaxing, I guess you can say. Um, it's it's great. It plays on. What I think is one of the strengths of GOT7 and the fact that their vocals are, you know, very, very kind of smooth um, for the most part. You gotta remember who raps whose vocals don't necessarily fit, but, you know, just just in general, GOT7, one of their strengths is the fact that their vocals are, you know, really, really nice and pleasant to listen to, and the just general vibe of this song, um, you know, vibes with that really, really well. So the, the the vocals with the music of this just combine together really, really nicely to create a really, really um, enjoyable experience. The downside to this song for me personally is that it kind of falls into the, the, the I don't know if I would necessarily call it a trap, but it does fall to a little bit of the trending sound in K-pop. And unfortunately for that, that means that despite the fact the song's really enjoyable, it's going to kind of, at least for me personally, it's probably going to get lost amongst the releases of other songs that sound somewhat similar. And that's a little unfortunate because of course, whenever you release a song or an album, you want something on it to stand out from the rest of everyone who else who released something around the time or in the year that you released your album. And this song doesn't necessarily have anything about it, for me personally, that's going to make it distinct enough to stand out from the rest. Um, You know, and the song, You Are, sets the general tone for the entire album. And so, of course, that means that the rest of the album, every single song, is a really, really, you know, easy to listen to, laid back sort of song. It's... I mean, it's it's an enjoyable sort of experience, an enjoyable album to, to listen to. Um, you know, the, the track listing, all that stuff for this album, it's not necessarily the most interesting because it's not really the most varied. You don't get a wide variety of genres or sounds or feels or tempos, you know, to a certain extent. It, it's it's all within a very sort of like thin band and it all feels mostly the same. So instead of going on a really interesting journey with lots of ups and downs, twists and turns, it's a very straight progression from song number one all the way down to the end. And, you know, that's not bad, but it just makes it 
not very it's not a very engaging experience where where you know the first time that you listen to it you of course don't expect any you don't you don't know what to expect with the next with the next song and then the next song potentially could have delivered something different and unexpected and made you go wow or made you sit up in your seat and pay attention and captured your attention song this album just didn't have that of course it's not the, i don't think that's the vibe that they're going for they're going for something that is just generally something that is you know somewhere you get a little bit of energy not super crazy energetic just something that you can like sit sit back and you don't just vibe to and just relax and enjoy it you know just just taking the atmosphere that it sets um you know it, it's it's in general a pretty decent i think actually a really good album to really kind of set as you know potentially background music or just something to just you know to put on when you just want to sit and relax and think about life or the world or anything like that you know, it's a really good album in that sense. Um, and on the, when it comes down to like the songs on an individual basis, again, similar to You Are, I suppose You Are as a song just kind of def- defines this entire album in the sense that, you know, it's not the most interesting song in the world, but it's not bad. It's not horrible. I enjoy it quite a lot. And I feel the exact same way about every other song on this album in an individual sense, not looking at it, how it fits into into K-pop as a whole or how it fits into, you know, GOT7's discography, you know, their career so far. Each song on this on this album is is very is is very, very good. I enjoy them of like a, a lot. But at the end of the day, you know, they, they all kind of blended into each other, you know, one after another. So there's nothing that's that makes them to me, like noticeably distinct, aside from the fact, you know, that there are parts in the songs that are, um, you know, th- like, if I pay attention to them, I, I get, you know, the chorus and the, and the words and the, you know, all of that stuff, you know, obviously, every song is like, obviously different. But at the same time, like, the more that you listen to it, like I did, the more that it just kind of, you know, blends together, and it just kind of all runs together. And it's, again, it's not a bad thing. It's kind of probably what they were going for. And it, it's still, you know, despite the fact that it's not a super crazy, interesting album with twists and turns and songs on individual level aren't necessarily the most crazy, interesting songs that I've ever heard in my life either. It still is overall a, you know, really, really, um, you know, individual great thing you know individually songs aren't necessarily anything special to listen to similar to the to the track listing the album as a whole similar to you are as a promo song it's just kind of a general theme throughout this entire album for me personally um when it comes to this album specifically and how it relates and fits into the career that got seven has had so far it's a little difficult for me to kind of um you know really say like this is like this is this is a good album in that regard like they've moved forwards or that they've moved backwards or they just haven't gone anywhere because you know on one hand i want i want to say that to a certain extent the fact that their flight log series of albums and the other albums that they'd released around that period of time too have were were much more musically interesting they were exploring different genres of music and just in general trying new things um you know, over the last, the previous year and a half, two years, and this album as a whole kind of goes, and they kind of, kind of fall back from doing stuff that is interesting, different genres, doing, doing all kinds of stuff like that, to doing something that it, doing the the music and the genre of music that is more in line with what is popular today, and, you know, like I said, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think as far as, like, group development that as in the aspect of that the music and the genres of music and what they're exploring their creativity and all that stuff have kind of fallen back a little bit it's a little bit of a regression but that's of course not considering the fact that there were members in, in the group that actually participated in producing a majority of these songs if not all of them and that's the one thing that is really, really good about this album. That's the one thing that is really, really significant about this album is the fact that, um, is it JB, um, Bam Bam, I think Mark also a, a, a scene as in the credits that they all, that they produced or that they were, that they were included in producing the production of the music and writing of the lyrics and doing that kind of stuff. So they had that involvement. And so that's a big step forward for Gut7 as, as a group, of course. So with this being the first album that members actually produced, that's a big step in their evolution as a group. But as far as musically, it's not necessarily a step forward or backwards. 
I don't know necessarily if I would if I would be super convinced or that I would that I would confidently say that it's like a regression or anything anything like that. But I don't I don't feel like this is any you know steps forwards in the music aspect of it. But when it comes to the production and the member involvement and stuff like that, then obviously it's a you know step forward in in that regard. So it's it's a really hard sort of area to really like seriously discuss. Um, you know for for me personally because it's like. On one hand, I want to I want to say that's not great, but on the other hand, because members you know produced some of the songs, that it's good. You know, it's it's, it's one of those things like which it's 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 a little difficult. But you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, despite the fact that you know members and all that stuff produced songs, it's great. That's a really really big and significant point to you know remember with this album and to consider when you're listening to it. Um, is that it's just a really super average K-pop album, in my opinion, um, especially for the year 2017. There's nothing that necessarily stands out to me as you know amazing and noteworthy. Again, it's not a bad thing because the entire experience of, the, of listening to this album is actually really really nice because you know the moderate tempo, mellow sounding music, very very nice to just sit and relax to and just 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 let it come into your ears and just 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 not actively listen to it it's really really good um but of course there are much more al- much more interesting albums to listen to much more interesting songs on individual bases to listen to and so that just is is you know means that unfortunately the final score that i'm that i'm going to be given this album is a total of 5.2 now if you if you were thinking because of course my scales out of 10 that 5.2 is bad it's not because i'm actually you know act, actually legitimately scoring on a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 is bad 5 is average and 10 is good so i'm i'm not using that inflated you know scale that people do when they use 5 to 10 where or 1 to 10 where 5 is bad and you know 7 is average you know i'm like legitimately 5.2 is a very very average sounding album in my opinion so that's my score, 5.2. So if you think that's wrong, you want to contest that, you want to fight me, that's perfectly fine. I am open to hearing what you guys have got to say, and I would actually really like to discuss it with you. Like, honest to God, I would. Just be nice about it, right? You know, that's all that's, what, that's all we're doing. So I've given you what I thought about this album and my score and all that stuff. If you agree or you disagree, 100% cool. I want to hear what you guys think about this, why, what your favorite songs are, anything about this, what, what you disagree with me on, why you disagree with me on it, and, you know, let's, let's, let's talk about it, because that's what we're trying to do here with this, with my, with these videos and all that stuff. We're trying to, you know, provide a, a thing or a, a community where we can, that's open and free, or free and open for everyone's opinions, whether they agree or, whether we agree or disagree. So, if that's the community that you want to be, you know, uh, a part of from now in the future, you want to you know, be a part of that discussion, then please do consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. So that's going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.